Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, and I'm a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. As you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about the new year. In fact, this is the year of the ox and what this means for you, not only energetically, but also intuitively. I have the astrology chart pulled up on my left and I have my tarot cards for us on my right and we're going to dive into what it is that you can expect for this year, what this year of the ox means for you and how you can use this in order to set really powerful, wonderful intentions for your life. So let me go ahead and start off by explaining to you really what is the year of the ox and why is this important for you and how this even ties into the world of astrology. So basically what this is, the year of the ox or the Chinese New Year is just that. It's the time of the year where Chinese culture is celebrating a fresh start to a new year, new energy. Now if you don't know, we're actually exiting out of the year of the rat. And that pretty much, if you think of a rat and if you think of <laughs> the entirety of what 2020 looked like, the similarities are pretty pretty striking. I don't know about you, but after all of 2020, what that brought and the energy of the rat, I am definitely open and welcoming to some new change. This change is not just this new year, this new energy. It also falls on the new moon in the sign of Aquarius. Now, if you don't know what that means for you or how this is symbolically important, I have a video that I just uploaded not even a few minutes ago that breaks down all of the magic of the new moon in Aquarius and all that you can expect. I'll link it down below. But for me personally, I am very very excited because one of my animal totems and one of my spirit guides is the the cow. It's a reminder of the abundance and the blessings that the earth can bring to us if we pursue our passions, if we have healthy boundaries, if we are determined, if we are patient, and if we are kind. That's the energy that we will be able to expect in this new year, this new energy, this new door that is opening up for us in our lives. The other thing that makes this stand out to me so much is the fact that the ox and the cow are connected to the symbolism of the crescent moon because of their horns. And this is something also that is very significant for me because that energy or that symbol of the crescent moon and the horns is also connected to the goddess Isis. If you don't know about her story, I really want to encourage you to check her out because she is so powerful when it comes to symbolism and healing, when it comes to moon magic, when it comes to setting intention, when it comes to protection, and also when it comes to goddess energy and empowerment. She is the epitome of all of these things. If you look at her story and see how she followed her passion and know, knew intuitively when to speak up, when to move, where to hide. She didn't look at these external circumstances and allow them to intimidate her. She knew that sometimes even the things that seem striking, similar to a threat to her, she actually used those to her advantage. And these are the things that I feel that we will be able to contribute in the energy of this new year. From what I can see between the connection of the ox, the cow, and the goddess Isis, and the start of this new year, and as we pull the astrology charts, all of this is teaching us how to work with our unique skill sets, our unique talents in order to make the most and go the farthest distance. This will be the year for you to practice your endurance. It's the year for you to practice your determination. Just like Goddess Isis and just as we look at the ox, it's not about looking at the obstacle and feeling defeated by it or even looking at the obstacle and feeling so challenged that we want to move a mountain overnight. It's about the energy that we put in every single day in order to make our goals into a reality. In order to do this, we have to pull from a space of strength that comes so deep within us. It's not only what logically makes sense or how we emotionally feel, it's what we intuitively know are our gifts and strengths within us. That's the other thing too that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the word strength. Now, in my Sacred Circle Tarot School, I teach about the esoteric symbolism found within the strength card within the tarot. I'm not gonna to go too deep into it because I save most of that for my students within the Sacred Circle Tarot School, but if you look at the symbolism within the card, 
in a nutshell, you will see on in the Rider Waite Tarot that the word strength is represented by a feminine energy working to close or open, it's debatable, the mouth of this lion, aka this beast. And why this is so significant is because strength is not about brute force or forcing your will or pushing anything into any place or state of being. It's about respect, it's about compassion, it's about love, kindness, and over time, those traits always prevail. Those traits will always help you to be successful. These are the traits that you want to embody as we move into this new year. You want to stand firm and strong in your state of being. You want to move from a space of higher vibration and love. You want to acknowledge and recognize the fact that you are worthy of nice things, worthy of good experiences. You want to protect your energy and protect your vibration by upholding really healthy boundaries. And you want to be really careful and aware of the vibes and the energies that other people bring into your life and try your hardest and your best to not be easily provoked by those who are trying to trigger you. That's something that you will notice with the ox, the bull, and the cow is that as strong as they are, they're not easily provoked. In fact, it takes a lot to piss them off. A person who is strong in their sense of self, a person who is surrounded by the element, the energy of self-love, knows that it's not worth it to get involved in things that do not serve them or come from a lo lower vibration. You wanna do everything in your power in order to protect and preserve your peace. Like I said in the very beginning of this video, the ox and the cow is very symbolic about abundance and the material wealth of the earth. This is the time of year where it is okay and you are invited into reaping the rewards, reaping the benefits, and securing nice things for yourself, things that make you feel good, pleasure of the senses. I've noticed in the spirituality community that there are a lot of conflicting feelings of guilt and shame when it comes to wanting nice things for ourselves. There's this idea that because we're spiritual beings and we're beings from a higher vibration, that we should feel bad or that we shouldn't have nice luxur luxury goods or tangible things or that we shouldn't want to think about money or prioritize money. But the reality is, is that money is an energy that helps us to do our work. So if money is an energy and a currency that we can exchange in order to free up more time and space for us to share our gifts or to care and tend for our physical and mental and emotional bodies, then it is good and right for you to have it have that energy in your life or to even pursue it. It's okay to make money, material abundance, and security and wealth a priority. In fact, you're encouraged, especially in this year of the ox. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the fact that the year of the ox is the second animal in the Chinese zodiac and also Taurus is the second sign within the astrological wheel. Taurus, if you don't know, is actually symbolized by the bull. So the similarities are very very interconnected. Taurus rules the second house, and the second house rules the things that is that we value, the things that we prioritize, and where we spend our money on things, places, whatever the case is. This is a year where you are invited to explore different avenues of growth and prosperity for your business, for your brand, for your career, and for your life as a whole. At the time of me filming this video, and for the entirety of this year, for the ox, Uranus is sitting in the sign of Taurus. Uranus rules erratic change. It rules instability. It rules the breaking down and the revolutionizing of new systems and new ways of thinking that we should be inviting into our life. Now, Taurus energy notoriously doesn't like to see things switching up and breaking down around them or radical speeding of anything. But this is where your patience, your persistence, and your determination need to step in. You don't wanna be easily provoked and in fact, you can try to incorporate new ways of grounding yourself and grounding your spirit, your energy into the earth in order to create and welcome in a sense of stability into your life and structure into your life if you feel like events around you are completely outside of your control. 
I want to emphasize the word outside of your control again because this is Uranus, this planet of rapid change, rapid surprises that is breaking down the foundation, the core foundation that is that we know it. So these are things that we can't control, but we stay open to the process and we ground ourselves so that we have a feeling of safety and security regardless of what is happening around us. In the year of the ox or the bull, I really want you guys to keep an eye on business, branding, stock, finances, and resources as a whole, and also pay attention to environmentalism and the care and the tending of animals. I made a prediction years ago that we're gonna start to see leaps and bounds when it comes to the realms of agriculture, when it comes to finances, businesses, resources, and the value of money, and definitely stocks. Keep those areas in mind and also set intention for those areas of growth in your own personal life. The last thing I think that it is that I wanna talk to you guys about is the idea of masculine energy, it being toxic or it being healthy, right? So toxic masculine energy always feels that it has to show up, force its will or do the most in order to protect or to secure the things that it is protecting or that is important to it. In this new year, you want to make sure that you are honoring the healthy aspects of masculine energy within yourself, regardless of your identity. Whether you're a male or a female or however you identify, each and every single one of us has equal parts or we work to balance the masculine and feminine aspects within ourselves. Do your research on what healthy masculine energy looks like and also protecting the feminine energies that are found within you. You. This is going to help you to navigate through this new year to work with the energy of your Uranus moving through the sign of Taurus so that you really can have a prosperous, lush, blessed year of the ox. I hope all of this makes sense and if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. Definitely let me know what you're setting intention for for this new year or at the time of the Aquarius new moon, which I will also link the details for that video down below. Until then, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.